Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at May 4th, 2024's Anti Night Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is Bill Murphy. I'm one of our setters here at Gas HQ. Uh, so is Clover. Uh, we also have Philip Newman. Um, he, he definitely does things. Um, we make genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the solver. Um, you can find our Sudokus on YouTube. You can also find them in Discord. But uh, the link to this puzzle is in the description. Um, if you are interested, we also have hat times for you. Now, two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a regular good time. A uh, regular good quick time. And then everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Now, um, with that being said, let's get into the puzzle. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, each row, each row, and each column must have the digits 1 to 9, 1 to each, and digits separated by a knight's move, as in chess, are never equal. So, um, if I put a 9 in here, I put a 9 in here, not that cell, 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 not that cell. None of those could have 9 in them. Hope that makes sense. Sweet. Um, do give the puzzle a go. This one's pretty good. I'm very happy uh, to be the one who's explaining this puzzle to you. Um, but uh, oh, I'll get rid of that nine from the middle. Um, it's my absolute honor to solve a puzzle this good because normally anti night is a trash constraint. Um, but here we go. All right. So um, this is the box we want to start with. Now, where does one go in this box? Well, one can't go there, and this one sees that cell, so we must put a one here. Now, where does three go in this box? Well, three sees all of those cells, and it sees that cell, so three must go there. Now, we need to put two, four, and nine in these cells. We will come back to these. Five, where does five go in both of these box, in both box two and box six? Well, box, in box two, five sees all of these cells, plus it sees that one by night's move, so we'll put a five here. Um, where does eight go in box two? Well, eight sees all of these cells, and it sees that cell, so eight must go there. Um, where does eight go? <laughs> where does eight go in uh, box six? Well, it sees all those cells and that cell, so eight must go here. Where does five go? Five sees all these cells and sees this one. So five must go there. Um, two sees this cell, which is very important to know. Uh, now we need to put a seven and a nine in here. Both of these cells must contain a nine. Um, so because this, uh, one of those cells must contain a nine. Now, because this cell sees both that cell and that cell by nine's move, I can no longer put a nine in here. Let's go over to box two. Four can't go in either of those cells, so we'll put a four in here, uh, which takes a two out of there. Now, we need to put six and nine in both of these cells, because this cell sees both that cell and that cell by night's move. This cell can no longer contain a nine, so it must contain a four, meaning this must be nine, this is six, this is nine, this is seven, and that's nine. And that is how you start uh, today's anti night stroke puzzle. I think that's just over a third of the grid done. Cool. Um, let's look at some other cool anti night tricks that I can show you. So, in this row, row four, three sees that cell and that cell, being three must go there, four goes there, six goes there. In this one, one sees both of these cells, so we must put a one there. This must be two, and that must be seven, because we got a two right next to it. Um, now, <sighs> um, okay, where does three go in row three? Well, three, see, three sees those two cells, so we must put a three there. We need to place a one and a six in these two cells. This one will tell us which way around this goes. Now, we need to place a four, nine, and a seven. We can do one of those. This four sees this 
this cell. This force is this cell, so this must be a four. And where does two go in row one? Two sees that it is seen by that cell. Two is seen by that cell. Um, so two goes there. This leaves us with five and eight, and seven and nine left to place. Let's go down here for a minute. Uh, we need to put a one, a seven, and a three in here. We can do every single one of those. One sees that cell on that cell, so that's a one. Three sees that cell, so that's a three. And this is a seven. Um, we need to place a two, nine, and six in here. Six sees that cell, and this cell is seen by that six. So this is a six. Uh, two and nine left to place. Four, five, and eight. Well, four sees that cell and that cell. Ah, sorry. That four and that four see those cells. Also, there's four up there. So that's five and eight. Let's come into the middle box. One, we can just do with regular Sudoku. So that's a one. Uh, we can place a three with regular Sudoku because both of those threes look into box five, meaning we need to place a nine and a five. Well, these two nines see that cell. So this is five and this is nine. This is two, nine, and six left to place. Uh, this cell is seen by nine and six. This is two. Six over here sees this cell. So this is six. This is nine. Meaning we can resolve that two and our nine from over here. Five, six, uh, five, seven, and eight to place in here. These two cells see this one, so that's an eight. Uh, this is five and seven. Let's go over here now. Uh, four, seven, and nine to place in here. It is pretty impressive that this cell, this cell, and this cell all see the, uh, see the same cell. Triple telling us that it couldn't be four. Um, five, six, and eight left to place. Well, this is a six because regular old Sudoku. This five looks at this row, telling us that five must go there, that must go there. Eight and five left to place in here. Uh, four, seven, and nine. Well, we can't put the four in. I should probably put the four in. And that's a seven and a nine in there. Two, seven, and nine left to place in this row. Uh, we can do the seven and the nine, telling us that this is a two. Putting a seven and a nine in there. Uh, this is five and three. We do know which way around that goes because that three. So that's a five and that's a three. Um, seven and five, eight and five. And now we're just finishing up the puzzle. Um, so this has been Anti Night by Clover. Uh, my name's still Bill Murphy. Last time I checked. And wherever wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.